Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to the eSports Report on this special Friday episode. Have been doing Friday episodes uh, as of late, but yep. good to be back here. We got the quick scope now. We just announced CTF is done after X Games. Some big news here in the Call of Duty scene, but Max, we're joined by a special guest. You want to introduce yourself yes. to everybody at home? Hi, I'm Intern Chandler. Intern um, Chandler! Woo! Hi! She is going to make sure that Max and I don't kill each other here on the quick scope. Another great segment here. We got some fantastic questions. Yes. See, we get right into things. All right, I'll start off with the first one. Ooh. So with the removal of Capture the Flag from the competitive rotation, do you think that it was the cause of one of these issues? Um, the game mode itself, the AW gameplay, the maps in AW, or was it another reason? All right, that, we'll stop it right there. Now, one thing to remember, everyone at home, you can use the hashtag Quickscope Max or hashtag Quickscope Jack if you think I won the argument. There yeah. you can see on the bottom the percentages there. So wait, before we, before we go, have a good debate. Good luck. This is the first ever quick soap without Ben and Matt, and I think it's going to be 10 times better. Of course. So, so you go ahead. You get it started. Go all right. Ahead. So this is a tough question because I think when you look at these issues, the game mode itself, Capture the Flag has been a competitive Call of Duty for years. Yeah. Uh, the AW gameplay as far as, you know, exos and stuff like that, people enjoy it. It's different. It brought new life to competitive Call of Duty. The maps, I think, are a big issue. And then I guess the other reason not listed here would be the spawns. And I think when you look at the best map, I think we can all agree the best map in AW for CTF would be Retreat. People yeah. love watching Retreat, and yeah. Retreat itself is a very one-sided map, in my opinion. You know, Ooh. I, that's how I personally oh, feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when you're defending the Turtle Hill, it's I think it's much different than when you're playing from the other side. And then you look at spawns on maps like Biolab and Ascend. Yeah, spawns are extremely fluky. Oh, absolutely. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's 100% the reasoning of the spawns and how the game is played. Let's take a look at a map like Biolab. You can get cleared out of your base, and while the flag is being run towards green, the person spawns up in mid-bio, two players spawn up in mid-bio, they're already in your base, they're already shutting you down. Completely different from other Call of Duties, as Aix has very passionately said, and players have very openly said, it's you can be rewarded for dying, and that should never happen in a Call of Duty first-person shooter game mode. You can wind up getting killed out of your base. Well, actually, that's a good thing that I died there because now I'm spawning all the way up in dark on Ascend, and now I just run outside the tunnels and easily get the cutoff there. It's unfair uh, to the team running the flag. It's just, uh, it's just not the correct way, really, that it should be played, and a lot of p players try to voice their opinions on it. Unfortunately, it just hasn't found its real home here in AW. And for a while, people have been saying it's time to shut it down. Yeah, and I mean, you also have to look at the gameplay. I mean, you know, overextending is extremely easy in AW, especially on a map like Biolab when you spawn, say, you know, back green and they're pulling it, you know, through ice or mid-bio. Yeah. I can dash twice, pop overclock, and be in your base in a matter of, what, five seconds? Yeah. And, I mean, then you look at other stuff like, I guess, stalemates. Stalemates were an issue. And then I really think a, a big issue was the fact that, you know, people enjoy watching Uplink. Uplink is one of the most popular game modes in AW. Yeah. And if a series would go 3-0 and CTF was the third game, people wouldn't be able to watch Uplink. So now that we have Uplink, you know, twice in, uh, or sorry, but as the game three always in um, a best of five, I think it's going to it's gonna be great for, for viewership. I'm going to put the dagger in you here on question one. Another <coughs> big reason right. why it All isn't right. as great of a game that it was in Black Ops 2 was because kill streaks not used here in AW. The big okay. one is that when a stalemate happened in Black Ops 2, if a team had streaks, it would just lightning strike the flag carrier and get the return. But okay, okay, what if I'm on like standoff? I can just jump into like into top round or I can go into well, bottom market or, it's, or green. It changes up the dynamic a lot more. It opens up sides of the map to let you go in and easily so get the return. Oh no, absolutely. No way. What are you, oh, you're just going to only sit inside gra Granny's house? Yeah, they do sit in cover, but you could fit a health storm missile inside one of those uh, last, windows last, with the Last thing. No, 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 I didn't finish my point yet. Oh, well, okay. I didn't finish my point. Here in AW, kill streaks aren't able to be used near as often. You don't see them run by players. Yeah, True. okay, the assault drone, but that's not going to do what a lightning strike or a health storm can do in Black Ops 2. So now players can just sit back, know that they can sit outside, sit in these other areas, which completely opens up the map to let the player running the flag go anywhere. Final point. Capture the Flag has been in competitive Call of Duty since MW2. MW2, Black Ops 1, oh. MW3. It was one of two game modes in MW3. Yeah. Black Ops 2, we missed it in Ghosts. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were like, why isn't that. Capture the Flag now in Ghosts? I just remembered that it wasn't in Ghosts. So. Yeah. Huh. And now we brought it back for AW, and now it's gone. So that's it. 
Apparently you won, but oh, oh, whatever. Oh, I easily yeah, won that one. Do, um, do you agree that I won that? Yeah, I was uh, going to say, I, I call this one for you. Oh, um, ben, let's I go. Feel, good ben, teamwork. High five. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. No, no, please. High five. Ben, I feel yes. your pain. I feel your pain, Ben. Up 1-0. Question two. Okay, yeah, let's move on. So, Parasite was majorly bashing his own team last night. Should he play for TK at the X Games, or should they bring in their best sub to fill in? Accuracy and legal are the subs. Ooh. You want to go first? I went first last time. All right, well, well, we'll touch on this. Obviously, X Games coming up. Huge drama last night all over Twitter. Parasite, people have always spoken about his toxic attitude on teams while well, began to show again. Last night, he wound up deactivating his account, I believe, and caused just a lot of issues, openly saying on stream that he doesn't believe in this TK squad. Well, X Games coming up, one of the larger events of the year. If I'm a team leader of TK or a team owner, I'm, I'm not sending Parasite to the X Games. I'm finding a sub to send in, in place of him. Yes, he's an incredible player, and yes, you're giving me a face for this, Max, but honestly, openly going. bashing your team, I'd rather go in with someone who wants to win, who is hungry to win, and you know what? It teaches maybe him, it teaches him a lesson, maybe. I mean, if you're going there, you can see they're, yes, living in the same house, but they, they have, they're not going there level-headed and on the same page. It's, it, it will majorly affect their team. If I don't win this, something is wrong. Really? You just suggested really that accuracy and legal, no shots at accuracy or legal, very good players, should play in place of Parasite. Parasite's a world champion. Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago? Okay, uh, mind you, he was the hardpoint player of the season in uh, Pro League Season 1. I believe he was also the S&D player of the season as well. Parasite, in my opinion... Well, 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 was he was he with PK then? Was he with this lineup that he just said he doesn't no, like it all? No, he was with Faze. Oh, okay. I completely forgot that one. That's actually that's my fault. Look, I mean, argue with your teammates as much as you want. When it comes down to the event, suck it up. Just play the event, play to your you know full capability, and then move on. Wow. I I seriously, if TK sent accuracy or legal, they're guaranteed fifth through eighth. Really? Yes. You think they have no shot? They, what, okay, they have no preparation playing with these players. I mean, yes, they're arguing, but Parasite is a very talented Call of Duty player, despite his, you know, his personality, whatever, that he gets into arguments with his teammates. There's no way TK should send accuracy or legal to the X Games in place of Parasite. No, you're absolutely crazy. If he shows up, they're not going to be on the same page. A lot of it's about vibes when you go into these events. You're going to be feeling good. I'd rather be going with someone who I know is going to give it their all. Parasite, yeah, he wants to win so bad, but... Man, he's burning bridges with his team. Uh, they were throwing roasts at each other all over the place. 100%. Media. Give it to me. Come on. Give me the win. Yeah, no way you're going to win that. Easy no points. No, no, not at all. So Easy points. I don't think I don't think it should be played in that way. It, it, it's a tough spot to be in, but honestly, what happened yesterday was uh, was very bad for the TK organization. How, how many events is uh, accuracy one? Not 2Ks and 5Ks. Are we, are, 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 now you're going to throw that one out? Like, okay, we're going to bring up... How, how, how many world again? championships does Parasite have? One. How many does yeah. Accuracy have? How many do they have in AW? Parasite? Yeah. Parasite's placings have been way better than legal and accuracies. Okay. Well, maybe this is their got third shot. at the world maybe championships. I don't shot. know. I don't, oh, you were at... Yeah, you were at Kyle Champs. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, yeah Parasite got three. third. <laughs> I won. 100%. One to one. No. I did. I did. Whatever. Well, look at the polls. That's true. Thank the you. The polls we'll don't lie. The polls don't lie. People want to see Parasite play. Yeah, um, I was forced into that pick. So How? <laughs> you went first. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right, so we're going to move on. Um, again, the polls don't lie, so we're going to have to, uh, <laughs> Get that one to max. Max. Yeah, we're going to get that one to max. Right. Um, so next. Whatever. So um, should COD ever use a monetary system like CSGO to purchase weapons in Search and Destroy, or would too much imitation dilute COD as a unique FPS? You started this one, Max. Yeah, I'm going first. Um, no. Because one, cop. I mean, CS:GO is a very popular esport. There's no denying that. Yeah. And I think if we were to use a monetary system for just search and destroy, that one makes it very hard for a viewer to follow. They don't understand why we're using monetary systems in only one game mode. I mean, yes, the game mode is played twice in a best of five, and it's arguably the most important in competitive Call of Duty. But it's very confusing. It it's hard to follow, and I mean. There are things that COD should imitate and adapt and, you know, make their own. But as far as, you know, implementing a monetary system for just one game mode, I, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I hear you on that one. I, I We were talking about this earlier. It's tough to kind of just say, yeah, let's do it, because there, there would have to be some major changes to what's Right, exactly. Like, 
I think the big reason that would be behind us because maybe it would give more defined roles, like instead of just everyone buying, everyone getting whatever gun they want. Now it's like, oh, well, I can't afford this one, so now I have to pick a maybe a lesser class weapon, adds more variety possibly to the game that we wind up seeing. Um, if if you give monetary value to these weapons, you know, how does that even get decided? If we were to do a monetary system, I actually think we need more rounds added to S and D, which would then lengthen the the amount of time there is in games because it would honestly be like so quick if it's a monetary system and now like if we do say a pistol round to start off a game and a team loses that pistol round it would be pretty interesting to see yeah. how many rounds they wind up losing because of that now already all right now they're down 3 in rounds and you they need to win three more instead of 13 more in counter strike yeah but that then that makes like a best of seven series will be long enough if it goes to you know oh yeah all the way to game seven and then if you increase the you know, hypothetically to whatever, 15 rounds or whatever. Yeah. That make, I think that makes serious. I'll be honest with you. I think we're both kind of on the same page. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, just yeah. kind of oh, yeah. So, I mean, 50 50. See, that's why. The, even. The, call it, Chandler. Call it. That's it. It's. Um, it's it, no, no, no. I think we, we both win this one. Yeah. Tied. You're, Tied. you're both right. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's move on to um, a pretty detailed question. I like that one. So, I like this one. Jack hypothetically. Wrote the, Jack hypothetically. wrote the questions today. I'm, I'm doing this one next. Okay. So. What if Call of Duty had power-ups slash power weapons that dropped like Halo? For example, if on uplink the grapple exo movement drops at a certain time in the team's fight for control, or if in hardpoint at a certain time there's a minigun that spawns that could give a team the upper hand. What were you thinking when you wrote this question? What do you mean, what was I thinking? I'm joking. You don't like it? No, just, you, you go, it's so, your question, answer first. Imagine if in COD, this is something that would be really cool, map positioning, very important in Call of Duty to hold down, um, well, in CTF, that's going to be gone now to hold down <laughs> lanes or in hardpoint to hold down spawns. In S&D, it's huge to watch over sight lines in regards to running a moors and kind of watching that for your team. What if in, say, a hardpoint at the seven-minute mark in the game, three minutes in, a minigun drops or gets dropped down in a certain location and you could pick it up for your team and utilize it to decimate players as we move to the bottom dirt hill on retreat or it's just a massive game changer if you can't control that one let's think in regards to uplink you wind up dropping in grapple into the game and a player can wind up picking that up and now they grab the drone and now they're going over like spider-man climbing through the maps i think it would change up the game completely and could be a big way in which a team who say behind can now play around getting that minigun and maybe they get like a juggernaut armored with it to make them a little bit stronger. So now they wind up being able to cut down some people. I think it would be an awesome addition to the game. I think power ups are a good idea. Power ups. Power ups. Power ups. So right. like the grapple, I thought that was a cool idea. So you're you're considering that a power up? What would you consider it? I don't know. If I consider a power up that. Well, I mean. Is it like a power up for you're, me? You're, you're gaining an exo no, ability no, no. by picking up on the map. A power up for me is like you're gaining like. You know how that like, one like, map? Like Overshield or an There's that one DLC something? map that you can like use that serum on you and you get like super speed and oh, yeah. crazy stuff. Like that's a power up for so, me. But the question, you literally wrote power ups. And then you said EX, if an up, if an up, like the grapple exo movement drops at a certain time and teams fight for control. I said power weapons there. Okay, I don't think a grapple exo is a power weapon at all. Uh, uh, you can use it to kill people. But no, I'm not saying that that's a power up. I'm saying the minigun's a power weapon. Right. No, I'm saying, yeah, but that grapple actually right, was just a move on. Who cares about no, the word? No, no. Okay. Anyway, I think the grapple is a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, as far as being a minigun, there was a minigun that people could use in competitive Call of Duty. It's called the Death Machine in Black Ops 2, yep. and people didn't use it. People didn't like it. You know, there are better kill streaks. You know, a War Machine, Sentry Gun at a time. So I, I just mean, gave that as an example. Right. Well, but that, but that was your example, a minigun. Right. You want a minigun in the middle of Hardpoint. That's what he said. But the this, this is, is how Matt wins the Quickscope. I'm taking your t your. Your strategy map and applying it to it, and I'm winning. So, yeah, no, no power weapons, maybe power ups. I think two power ups, if like maybe, or just one extra grapple in the, say, in the middle of comeback uplink, yeah. just chilling in the bottom. That would be a cool idea. But as far as power weapons, no, that's what makes Call of Duty unique. And especially coming in with Black Ops 3, how we don't know um, how, specialist things will work. how specialists will work. So, you're probably going to have a locked in loadout going in. So, no, I, I, don't, I don't like power weapons at all. All right, guys. Wait, 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 one sec. Well, no, uh, hey, we will set I have Chandler to call, to, to, I have call, to call it. it. Yes. I'm calling it. Two to one, baby. I'm calling it for Max. I'm leaving. The polls don't lie. I'm leaving for two to one. You know what? Go ahead. I'm the People's Caster's apprentice. Not really, but anyway. Next question. Okay, next. Wow, so, pe people really don't like uh, people. 
people really don't like the idea of adding power power up into the mm -mm. game. No. They said Jack, you're drunk. I think that'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. All right. Are we, are we done in general with Quicksilver? No. We're okay. um, no, we're moving on. Here's yeah. the next question. So, is it the right time for Call of Duty to be exclusively on current gen consoles? So, no more 360 and no more PS3. Um, I'll go first. No. I mean, I, I think it's fine if Call of Duty comes out on last gen consoles. I mean, there are people who still have Xbox 360s and PS3s who still have games for, you know, Xbox 360 and PS3 that they play a lot. I mean, no. I, <laughs> well, I mean, is, is no. there ever a right time? No. Like, yeah, like, no. I, that, that's how Matt would answer a question. Like, sure or no? So, I mean. You're a big fan of Matt, huh? See, I'm my own person. You're just trying to imitate someone. Give me points for that. No, don't vote for him. Vote for me. All right, are you done with your side of the argument? I mean, that was below average. I mean, uh, this, this is a tough question to ask because I'm not Microsoft or Sony, and I can't tell how many Xbox 360s or PlayStation 3s are still sold a year. So. Well, I can tell you that. Oh, you could? Yeah. Because Through my next answer. Can I go yet? Sure. All right, here's the lowdown, <laughs> folks. It is time to move on. You heard it here first. Go ahead and play your little 360 games like I do all the time, Throwback Thursday series that I'll, I'll do on my YouTube channel and stuff like that. One big thing to point out, it's time to move on. The Xbox One and PS4 have been out for two years now. I don't appreciate you laughing at my... I was point. laughing at some of that Will said, sorry. Oh, okay. I can't hear Will in my headset, so you can talk about trash anyway. <laughs> um, but also, another thing to realize, let the developers fully focus on making the game as incredible as they can on the next-gen I already won with my counter-argument. If, if they make the game on, say, the 360 or the PS3, it will either A, split their department, and they'll have to make everyone work on that okay. one as well, or they'll have to send it out to a different group to wind up helping produce it, and they wouldn't have that single vision they need on the game. Only Xbox One and PlayStation 4. It's time we move to next gen. You, you kind of touched on it with your last point, but really what like those what Activision does is they will outsource another company to make the multiplayer for a last-gen console. So keep doing that. Like... Honestly, with this, as long as the you know the focus is on current gen, because that's you know like you said, Xbox One and PS4 have been out for two years. Nope, you're wrong. Does it? And that question anyway. The fans agree. So what's a two-two now? I don't know if you call them fans, but two-two. People, the people agree with you. I guess on that the one. Viewers agree. Yeah, two-two. So there's one more tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. All right. So. I go first. Oh no, I go first. You go first. Anyway. Right. So. Is there any chance of a return of Capture the Flag in the year of AW if it's patched and plays better overall? Folks, you're going to hear it here first. There is no shot. No shot. We see CTF back on the pro circuit anymore. It's done. After X Games, put a fork in it, send it off in its boat down the river on fire. It's <coughs> over. CTF, you've done a great job for us in the past. Unfortunately, you just didn't really find your home here on AW. Your, your, your time here is cutting short. Unfortunately, you are the weakest link. A lot of people won't understand that reference. Um, you think yeah, so? I really don't think there's any shot that AW sees CTF again. I think people are really going to learn to adapt and love the hard point and uplink um, setup that we're going to have in the best of fives. And if we see best of sevens with three SNDs, it's going to be real intense. Two uplinks as well. Honestly, two hard points, two uplinks, and three SNDs. You can't go wrong with that setup. Max, try to win this one. Oh, no, I agree with you. CTF is done for. What? But, Look at this. You just uh, want to I'm changing the question. I'm changing the question because, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's you, you can't win that argument. This is why Ben complains because, like, you can't win this argument. CTF is done for. But I think CTF will be back in Black Ops 3 if it's in there. Wow. So you just completely well, changed first, the First question. of all, your weakest link an analogy was incredible. Awful. Incredible. God awful. Because you didn't it. even watch The Weakest Link. I did. If you've never watched there, The Weakest Link, there the was ESR a, is over, go watch it on YouTube. I've watched The Weakest Link. I'm telling everyone at home. Name name the host of The Weakest Link right now. She's got glasses. <laughs> short brown oh, hair. Her name is She's Got she goes, Glasses. You all are The Weakest Link. Goodbye. Oh, my God. That was an incredible impression. Okay. I should win this argument based off of my impression of the lady who hosts that show. I'll, I'll give you the um, win if you get up and do the nay nay again. No, I already, well, I already won that Apparently, just for the impression, you lose. No, um, no, no. no. That, that, I agree. Hold on, the people come back. Come no, on, people. No, I am here all. for Mr. No X. No way. The, I am here for Mr. X. I'm in place for him today. Max, it's been great having you here. The votes are now swaying into my favor. Look, that's 101%. What's the name of the host of the weakest link? You can't even tell me. Her name is She's Got Glasses? Okay, that question is a one-sided question. 
and that's why I won the quick scope. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much. Her for name is Ann Robinson. Is her hair even brown? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't think Are it is. Are you sure? It is. It's red. It's totally not brown either. It's 100% it's red. It's 100% there, no. brown. There's no way. Brown, uh, lady who hosts The Weakest Link. <laughs> the I'm finding this. People. The people. Look at this. Mr. X thanks you for my vote. Ann Robinson. There's no photo of her. <laughs> that's, that's not brown. Man. That's, that's red. not brown. brown. That's brown. strawberry blonde. Pull it up. Nowhere near brown. Brown hair. <laughs> Woo! No, hey, well, no, we need to. We need to show we, we, this. We need this an is official. Very, very clearly not brown. That's brown hair right <laughs> oh, there. Okay. Uh, go, right, go it's Google and lighting, it's brown. It's yeah. lighting. It's it's blonde. All that. All that. He matters. didn't win. He didn't win. He, no. He, he wrote the questions too. He rigged it. Well. Thank you so much um, for being our yes, moderator on this one. No problem. Thank Honestly, it was it was a pleasure. Jack, shake hands like gentlemen, because Ben and Matt never do that. Honestly, at the end of the day, we're both we both respect each other. We were, we matched on uh, Wednesday. Yes, we matched yeah, on we Wednesday. We're the same outfit, but that's gonna do it here for the quick scope. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Let me see what some of the people are saying in the chat about yeah, uh, about CTF. I can find where the chat is. Um, Xbox 360 can connect better to the internet, says December 7. Uh, I haven't. Thank you. I I, I haven't seen that. Um, that, that proof yet, but okay. <laughs> yeah. um, if you have that proof, good CTF for you. was good in Black Ops 2. Uh, Zeltrix says, add new hardpoint map. We will definitely be seeing something along those lines, uh, hopefully very hopefully, soon. Yeah. CTF needs to be in a best of three, Donkey says. So he's, he's a big fan of seeing CTF. Uh, love seeing your guys' thoughts in here. They're adding two DLC hardpoint maps. Uh, we'll find out, guys. Yeah, we don't know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will be right back after this quick commercial break. More great coverage here on the ESR. Don't go anywhere.